What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm excited to show you a new base that I created in collaboration with Lignum. They're a Croatian company of two brothers who design and build incredible pieces. Everything from bases to sculptures, toys, houses, you name it. You can watch them build this very base as well as all those other things on their YouTube channel linked in the description. Also, stay to the end of the video if you want to hear any of my playing examples with the base isolated. So for this project, Lignum and I came together intent on creating the best sub-octave bass guitar. In other words, it's tuned E, A, D, G, but a whole octave down from your standard four-string bass. To achieve this, we needed a much longer scale length to provide adequate string tension. A standard four-string bass is 34 inches from the nut to the bridge. You'll often find five-string basses at 35 inches, and then there are also companies like Dingwall who go all the way to 37 inches. Lignum and I decided to go with a full 42 inches. Otherwise, the strings would be too loose, creating a lack of definition in the notes, and the lower range would lose volume. Having a scale length of 42 inches could have introduced ergonomic issues, like having to reach too far with the fretting hand, or dealing with excessive neck dive from the weight of the extra long neck. But Lignum addressed these potential issues by elongating the body and placing the bridge farther back, making the fretting positions much more comfortable and the bass much more balanced. Now we have clarity, consistency and volume, and an ergonomic feel all in one instrument. With the sub-octave bass having much lower frequencies, it was important to find pickups and a preamp that could cover that range. I chose to go with a pair of my prototype Nate Novaro signature pickups from Bartolini and a Bartolini HR-4.6 AP preamp. The pickups are wider to give more tonal options depending on where you pick, and they also provide a greater playing surface for more advanced techniques. The HR-4.6 AP preamp has its bass frequency centered at 30 Hz, whereas most preamps are set around 70 or 80 Hz, which in my opinion is too high even for standard tuned bass guitars. Together, the pickups and preamp have a flexible character and control range that I really like. Here's an example showing how they can bring out clear high harmonics while also keeping those gut rumbling lows. I received the bass in Amsterdam while I was on tour, and I'm pretty sure I opened up a portal to another dimension when I played it during soundcheck at the Ziggo Dome. It's just unreal. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Don't forget to check out Lignum's channel for a full build of this bass guitar. And for this last playing example, I'm gonna play a riff, and every time it repeats, I'm gonna tune down the bass a whole step until we're a whole other octave below where we start. So two octaves below a standard bass. Here we go.